This happened a few years ago, back when my parents used to ship my older brother and I off to my grandpa's farm for a summer full of hard work. The farm itself was nestled deep within the backwoods of Oregon, planted right in the shadow of the Great Hills. I made a lot of good memories there, as well as a few bad ones, but this one is what sticks out the most, one that will still haunt me despite the farm being sold and my grandpa now six feet under. I wouldn't call it scary, per se, but it was strange enough to stick with me even as I grew up into a young man. It was a sweaty July night. I remembered how we were all gathered in the sitting room, my brother, my cousin, grandpa and I, eating over cooked TV dinners and complaining about the summer heat. That was when the dogs began to bark. Leia, the German Shepherd, and Lucy, the Collie Pup, one in the house and one chained in the yard, both started yipping frantically at the same exact time. My grandpa started cussing, something he wasn't supposed to do around us kids. Josh, bring that damn dog in. I remember quietly watching my cousin slip out of the screen door and onto the porch. Then he disappeared. Minutes passed. Leia kept barking. My nerves slowly began to act up as I stared past the door. Thing is, out in the country is where you realize just how dark the night can get. The screen door finally opens. Leia bolts inside with her tail between her legs. Lucy is so scared she starts peeing on the floorboards. Josh closes the main door then locks it. The temperature in the room instantly rises. He looks at my grandpa and simply says, It's back. The old man sits down his beer. Where is the bastard? In the field, just standing there. I had never seen the way my grandpa was looking now, nor will I ever see it again. All he says is, John, why don't you and your sister sleep in the living room tonight? Keep the dogs with you. I'll be on the roof. I didn't sleep that night. I laid there next to my brother, listening in terror to the silence. With midnight came a lone gunshot. A half hour later, my grandpa stomped down the stairs, hung up his rifle, then went to bed. That morning, there was a fresh pile of dirt out in the field. Whatever was out there had been killed and buried before I got out of my sleeping bag. After lunch, we let out the horses and put fresh paint over the claw marks on the barn.